Got a lively little bunch of dogs behind me. Little trio of savages. Eshpu Hill's a lot more livelier than it was when I was here about 10 years ago. Fortunately, the last cabanas that I was hoping to get into, Cabanas Kalakmul, were full. So the guy suggested I go down to the rotunda around about. And there's a chap there, Shak Kalakmul. I must have uh, None of this was here when I was here before. So this trip is some more of that salsa pica. It's five o'clock in the morning and they're rummaging around. Did you make any more noise? I was already awake. There was a huge boom. Boom. Much louder than that, like a bomb going off. <clears throat> but I was already awake by then as well. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm excited that I'm off to Calag Moor. Somewhere that I've been wanting to go for a very long time. And I'm finally going to get to see it today, so yeah. A huge Mayan site that was a war with Tikal for many hundreds of years. Yeah, within minutes, I'm sure the roosters and the dogs have been very mental. It's around that time. 5.30 in the morning was the time. Manuel was picking me up at 7 from outside the pizzeria here in Ishpu Hill. Oscar's place, this is Oscar's place. The morning of Kalakmul. So let's get into the jungle. A two hour journey. I'm getting picked up in 10 minutes by Manuel here in Ashpur Hill. Pretty excited to say the least. There's a few more people than I was hoping to be here, but we're here, just entering the archaeological park, deep in the Peten jungle. This great city had a huge rivalry with Tikal. A great city in the North Paten of Guatemala, which isn't a great distance from here. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going, but I'm hoping that it's the large Acropolis, the main Acropolis. So yeah, Tikal, we're quite friendly with other states, like Copan, and 
Yeah, Kalik Moor. We're pretty friendly with the guys down at El Mirador, which was an older city. They've been around a little bit longer. Both cities have been around for a long time. But as that faded, El Mirador became a bit more of a popular site up here at Kalak Mall. Kalagmul was one of the largest and most powerful ancient cities ever uncovered in the Maya Lowlands. The Maya Lowlands being the northern Petan jungle of Guatemala. Kalak Moor was known as the Kingdom of the Snake, ruling much of the area in the Classic period. Classic period being around 600 to 800 AD. That was a bit of a steep climb. But I reckon that's going to be a little bit tougher. One pyramid down. Kalik Moor was one of the largest pyramids ever to be built by the Maya, standing at over 45 metres tall. and well over 6,000 structures have been identified at the site. It's estimated that the city had over 50,000 inhabitants, covering an area of 13,000 square kilometers. Welcome to Kalak Mool. These are the residents. I thought I was a noisy neighbour. The 
total population of these secondary centres has been estimated at over 200,000. Including the rural population which has been estimated at about 1.5 million people. In total, the area is calculated at about 1.7 million people in the late classic period before its demise. There have been many sagbiob which are interconnecting roads going between different sites, one sagbe multiple sackbiob and these run in some cases for well over more than 50 kilometers It had governance over places as far away as 150 kilometers, which in the jungle is a pretty long way. The rivalry between Tikal in the North Betan in Guatemala and Planet Moor have been likened to two rival Maya superpowers. And although Canic Moor had the upper hand from the middle of the 6th century to the early part of the 7th century, Tikal got its shit together and kicked some Canic Moor ass. Still got a ways to go. Si, por aquí. These are some very large ruins. Both cities trying to overthrow each of their own allies. And in one instance, Caleb Moore imposed a ruler called Sky Witness at Caracol, which is in Belize, another amazing site that I've been to, with a huge, huge pyramid called the Sky Palace, El Kanar, 
and him himself did a job on the king at Tikal. And sacrifice Wak Chan Kawil. After which Tikal took a back seat for a little while while Kalakmo ruled. Still see the remainder of some of the glyphs on the Ustilai. But they're very worn. Here we go again at Kalak Mool. This one's only a little while. Steps are ginormous for little people back in the day. These little jungle Mayan people only had little legs. We've got about half an hour to go before the guy wants to take us back to Eshpul Hill, so I better make the most of it. In the size of this tree, just growing out this face of this edificio structura. Main pyramid over there. 